Hi, my name is Bonnie Decker, and I'm an occupational therapist. That's how I define myself and I, how I have since I graduated. I went to school for my bachelor's degree back at Western Michigan University, so I am originally from Michigan. I lived um, lots of different places that's brought me on my journey to Florida. Uh, anyway, I got my bachelor's degree, and from there, I went and worked in psychiatry for a year. Um, I was in acute care, and I really enjoyed it, but the peds person left. And I like pediatrics, I like playing with kids. Where else can I work all day but get to play? So I love playing and I love working with kids. So the PEDS therapist left and I started working with PT and with speech and we formed a team and we were doing a lot of pediatric outpatient primarily. From there, I wanted to get my master's degree. So I ended up moving to Florida and I, along the way I lived in Kansas that's where I, my first job was but then I ended up moving out to Arizona um, and I liked Arizona I was working in the neonatal intensive care unit so I was a very specialized person I got specialized training I worked very closely throughout the state uh, with uh, the person who was based in Tucson which was the other big uh, place and I was in Phoenix and we did a lot of training for nursing staff throughout the state on working with babies in the NICU so I really enjoyed that aspect and looking at the development and what happens and what kinds of things you need to watch out for. I went to a lot of national conferences at that time, so really started getting very interested and that really is what sparked my interest in getting my higher education degrees. I came to Florida, I got my Master of Health Science from the University of Florida. Um, at the time, it was a wonderful experience. I worked in school systems here in Florida and then I went and I moved closer to Gainesville and in Gainesville I had the opportunity to work at an intermediate care facility for people with intellectual disabilities. Those are people who can't live independently and it gave me a new appreciation for early intervention because if they could feed themselves then somebody didn't have to feed them. So from my role as an occupational therapist and helping somebody be independent that really sparked my interest and made me want to do more from a pediatric aspect. I got my master's degree and I went into teaching. I was at LSU Medical Center for a year um, down in New Orleans. Love New Orleans, it's a great place to visit. Um, but I liked um, what I was doing. I was actually working some at Charity Hospital when I was there. So I got to work in the neonatal intensive care unit. Very interesting in dealing with substance exposed infants primarily. That was their big population at that time. From there, I did get um, decided to do more teaching. I wanted to do in a entry-level OT program. I was in a Master of Health Science program there. It was OTs that wanted to go on and get their master's degree, and I really wanted to get into entry-level education. So I went to the University of Mississippi Medical Center and taught in their program. From there, I went up to the University of Central Arkansas and taught in their OT program as well. And at that time, I was looking, okay, hmm, let's, you know, what am I want to do? I want to end up in Florida. I had family in Florida. Uh, my parents are snowbirds, so they come down here every winter. Um, my, I have an uncle that lives here full time. So I ended up coming to Florida and I taught at um, the University of St. Augustine for many years up in St. Augustine, Florida. I ended up leaving there and coming here because number one, Gannon is an OTD program. The OTD program is really exciting because we're expecting our students to become leaders in the field of occupational therapy. And by doing that through some kind of a leadership experience and or research and or something, you know, maybe you're gonna develop a program. So I really like that aspect that we emphasize here at this campus. I also like the fact that this campus does most of the classes in person. So we don't rely on online learning. We don't rely on hybrid learning. I've done it. It works sometimes for some students, but I like the interaction that goes on in the classroom. I like talking to people. I have students stop by my office all the time. And I think you kind of lose that in some of the hybrid programs. So I really encourage students to stop by. I stay after class or I come early, and students know that. So they come up and ask me questions all the time. I've enjoyed living here. We're outside of Tampa, Florida, um, the bay, it, you know, where you can go actually walk in the water and be in the Gulf. Um, you can do that. There's a place about 10 miles from here, but if you really want to go over to the Gulf and go St. Pete, Bradenton, they're easily an hour's drive. So it's a beautiful area. We have great weather here, uh, especially this time of year. Um, where It's October right now, so I really look forward to meeting you, and I really hope that you consider Gannon because I think it's a really good match for many people who are looking for a personal touch and looking for one-on-one -on -one interaction in the classroom.